Hello YouTube and fellow air gun enthusiasts. So today I decided to do something a little different. Um, as most of you know, if you watch my channel, I do a lot of uh, shooting out in the dairy farms. And today I wanted to do an experiment on how well does the pellets that I use expand when they, uh, when they are shot into a, a bird so that I could understand which one would be the best for not going through the sides of the roof sides of the roofs or sides of uh, the barn itself so so as you can see today I got my uh, FX Maverick out here um, it's in 22 and we're going to be using this gun and I'm going to test these four pellets uh, the first one would be the Barracuda Hunter the second one would be the uh, Barracuda Hunter Extreme and then the Hades, and then the H&N Terminators. And if I have room on the piece of meat that I'm going to hit, then I will try the FX 18.13 uh, grain uh, dome pellets as well. So let's go down in the range and see what I'm going to be shooting at. All right, so I've got this uh, piece of pork loin set up. It's uh, 30 yards from where I'll be shooting from. And the reason why I picked 30 yards is because that's what most of my shots are when I'm inside the barn. And so it's a nice uh, five pound piece of pork loin. It's uh, fairly long and fairly thick. And so hopefully what happens is that the pellet does not pass through the entire piece of the meat so that I can see exactly what happens to the pellet after it hits and strikes the meat so that we can see exactly what kind of deformation occurs. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up and then we'll take uh, four shots and if I have room I'll take the fifth one. All right so I have the uh, camera all set up down at the 30 yards to watch the piece of meat when I go to hit it and we're starting out with the Barracuda Hunters I've centered it for 30 yards so now let's go ahead and take our first shot and let's see what happens to that meat in that pellet oh, 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 oh. all right one down and three more to go All right, so I uh, shot the first pellet, which was the Hunter Barracudas. And now I've got the uh, second one I want to shoot, and that'll be the Terminators. And so uh, let's go ahead and see how those work. All right, see what that one looks like. All right, I got the third pellet uh, loaded in. It's the uh, Hunter Extremes. So I'll go ahead and zero that out first, and then we'll uh, shoot at the, uh, at the piece of meat down there. Two nice shots right in a row. That's a nice shot.
All right, and I got the last uh, pellet I wanted to check, which was the Hades. And then we'll take a shot on the piece of meat. Good center. I'll go ahead and hit that last spot on there. All right, I'll go down and I'll see whether or not I have any room to shoot the FX 18.1 uh, grains, and we'll go from there. All right, so it turns out that there was room down there for another shot, for another pellet, so we're gonna hold, go ahead and use the uh, FX air gun uh, Diablos, and we'll see how those shoot and how they uh, deform when they go through that meat. All right, so we got that last one done, and let's go see what everything looks like. All right, so here we go. We got the uh, infamous piece of meat here. This was a uh, pork tenderloin, and so now I'm going to try to figure out exactly where these things went how far they went. So I think I hit the end of something here. And that one went almost five inches. Yikes. That one went really far. That one's like six inches. Here's the uh, FX. goodness I don't I didn't see it come out so right now that went in all 10 inches worth and then uh, this one's the terminator and that one looks like it went seven inches so first one was the uh, hunters uh, the Barracudas, and the Hunter Extreme, and then the, uh, oh wait a minute, this is the Hunter Extreme, sorry, I forgot to do the Hunter Extreme. That went almost 7 inches, that was the Hunter Extreme, and then the Hades, then the Terminators, and then the uh, FX uh, Domed. So, let's see if we can't find out where all these pieces are now. my first one. Yikes. That is really nice. Can you zoom in on that? Got it? So my wife's behind on the camera today helping out. So that looks like it was the Hunter Barracudas. Extremes, if it's still in here. Doesn't look like it came out.
okay in that one. So we might have to take this apart a little bit more. Alright, so now we're going to try to find the, uh, this would be the uh, Hades one. So, Nice thing about this piece of meat I bought is he's got no bones, but that's the uh, the Hades one. Got it. All right, now we'll look for the uh, now we're going to try to find that uh, FX domed one. Finding that one either. So I might have to do some more looking off camera. And I guess we'll try to do this last one here, which was the Terminators. Oh, looks like the Terminator went all the way through too, based on that. Hmm. That's the Terminator. So that one also mushroomed very nicely. So now uh, I'll have to take this thing apart and try to find the other two. So uh, why don't we go ahead and do that and if I find them then we will bring them on. All right, so after digging through the meat a little bit longer, I was able to find the uh, Hunter Extreme, which I wasn't able to find to begin with. So here they are, uh, both before and after. So first one is the uh, Barracuda Hunter, which mushroomed wonderfully. And then we have the Hunter Extreme, which mushroomed as well, but not as much as the other one. Then we got the Hades, and then we have the uh, Terminator. And uh, the last one was the FX uh, domed, and I never found that one. And then I went and shot again two more times into that meat and put a board down to collect it. That's why that skirt is damaged because it just kept going right through all 10 inches of the meat with no problem. So that one's not slowing down. And as you can see, which most of you already know, it doesn't deform too much. So uh, what I did notice is when I was using the Terminators uh, the other day in a barn, because uh, I had just bought these and wanted to try them again in my gun. They didn't shoot very well the first time through my gun, but now that I've got like 10,000 rounds through it, these are shooting much better, where I can hold an inch or less than seven at 70 yards. So I noticed that when I was shooting birds at 30 to 50, 60 yards, I mean, these things were just dropping. It was just amazing to watch them. Just They just dropped wherever I wherever they were when I shot them. So... A Terminator, it punches a hole. It's a round, nice circular hole when you punch a uh, paper. But it seems to do the same thing to the 
to the meat when it hits it as well. So, so hopefully you found this somewhat interesting. Um, I don't know how well it matches up with ballistics uh, jelly. Um, so I just wanted to see what it did in, in regular real meat. And uh, that's why I wanted to try this experiment. So as always, please like and subscribe and leave any comments below.